The Taliban is taking responsibility for shooting down a U.S. helicopter. More than 30 people were killed, and there are reports this morning that most of them are U.S. Navy SEALs. ABC's Martha Raddatz is in Washington. And Martha, what do we know right now about this deadly incident? Uh, this is just devastating news, Bianca. It was a U.S. aircraft, a Chinook aircraft, and on board, according to a senior U.S. military official, 25 Navy SEALs, seven Afghan forces, likely special forces, one interpreter, the five-member crew of the Chinook helicopter, and one dog. As we all know, dogs are in these operations. We know this from the Osama bin Laden raid. So devastating, this news, and spe especially after that news in May that SEALs were able to kill Osama bin Laden in a raid. Uh, today's crash, and they do believe it was from enemy fire, possibly a rocket-propelled rocket grenade. Uh, they believe it was shot down right after an operation. This was in Wardock province. Now, I also want to add that the first person to say these were U.S. Special Operations Forces was Hamid Karzai, the president of Afghanistan. He released a written statement uh, sending his condolences for the loss of those troops in the Afghan forces as well. But he was the first to say uh, special operations forces, and we did confirm through a senior military official they were Navy SEALs. This, as you know, beyond a very, very small community of these highly trained elite U.S. forces. That is true. A devastating blow this morning. Martha, you know this area very well. How dangerous is it to fly? over this region in Afghanistan? Uh, well, they've certainly lost several helicopters, but this is the single largest loss of life in Afghanistan in a single incident since this war began. Helicopters are hit fairly often, but they're usually much smaller helicopters. Again, this is how you transport SEALs. This is how you transport troops in these large Chinook helicopters. You really kind of squeezed in these helicopters. They're the kind that open from the back uh, so the troops can get out and in. All right, a devastating story, huge loss of life. Martha, we appreciate you waking up early this morning for us and bringing us the latest. Thank you.